Hi. Basically, uh, using Studio Firebase, uh, you can create your uh, your own uh, chatbot or on your own personal agent using in just a just a two to two to three minutes. So, I have just created a uh, Apollo Assistant, but for you, uh, we just explain the how we can create the your personal chatbot and with code base using just a tool. Just uh, uh, type your requirement with, uh, here. You can type your uh, you can type here your requirement, and after that you can select your code ba code base stack like uh, uh, which type of code base you are like. Suppose that you are working or uh, want to work with Node.js, yeah, Next.js, just something like that. So this so don't waste time. We are starting the with the prompt for the this chat box. For example, we are we are uh, trying to create uh, creating an e-commerce assistant. Okay, so we just type the our prompt, create an uh, app which can help to our customers for the. Sensor, sensor, query regarding the product order and the product order, and we do some more solution the product order and the And the best and best product suggestion like this, and some customers gravy or uh, like some customer problems with problems with our product. Okay, so also. My store name feature like a uh, anything like a uh, store name is a uh, my card okay and here sell the online. This is our command. So I want to create a, a just the for the simple uh, any customer uh, come to our e-commerce e-commerce platform. They can ask anything to chatbot. They can reply regarding anything uh, means regarding to the our product regarding to the his uh, new customer, uh, customer things uh, like uh, general uh, general uh, general queries. Okay, we can also do the proper prompt for the our uh, our chatbot. They can respond accordingly. Uh, out of scope, they can't respond. Mean uh, if anyone asks to out of the scope, like uh, today weather. Like about do the DSA information, then they can't reply. Here, this chatbot can reply only the our related to our store, our store, our products, things like this. So now we are uh, for now we just give the some small prompt okay, to the this chatbot to generate the our small chatbot. So just uh, click here prototype with AI and after process. We give the some prototype of your app. If what will do this app? If you do anything change, you can do it. But this is for the only learning. If you are, if you want to create a proper app, they can 
or in that case you create a proper uh, prompt so here is the some prototype what what will do this uh, this chat is given so smart query answering ai product suggestion problem troubleshooting here is form display chat interface so this chat will creating this uh, anything you do changes in this uh, code we can here click and update our things what i want to change this okay after change i can save and go with Select the color. How are we? Which type of color I want to layout type of? And here's uh, it's uh, about the AI, which AI tool we uh, we are uh, using. And next is some take stack. Uh, where you, uh, behind this, how is the work? Which take stack is working? So after click on this. We create all uh, type of files uh, which are required for our app. After then, you can keep this code, uh, upload this code on GitHub, uh, and keep. Uh, also, you can keep all the personal use uh, and uh, or lots of things. And but uh, here, uh, after the cre uh, after our creation, you uh, you can do any ch uh, any changes using this command or they give the uh, proper Visual Studio interface where you want to change uh, the code according to your requirement. Also, give the some command which are which are want to change in the uh, in your code. So this will take uh, some time. I mean, approximately one or two minutes, and they create uh, all of the files. If you want to after creating this, if you want to any changes, if you got any issue, they can fix the uh, Asynchronously click on the issue and they, they describe the what is the issue and click on the fix error button, they fix that issue. So, this is try to writing the supports global.css file. So, basically, purpose of this video uh, just awareness of the current AI things, how is the develop the AI. And how you can create the chatbot in just two or three minutes, your personal chatbot, your personal agents, or to do your task easily. So, uh, we have, uh, apart from the studio, uh, we, we have lots of different uh, uh, more tech, uh, tech stuff like uh, Vertex AI, where we can also. We create the custom chatbot. So now this is creating some files. Meanwhile, we uh, I can show the vertex AI in just some overall. So vertex AI also gives the some inter uh, interface. There is the vertex AI menu. Uh, here we can uh, you can create your our personal chatbot. Uh, Using your requirement, so if you here is the I have created the personal prompt. So using your uh, you can update your prompt here, and you can do change anything after you creating prompt. They give the your code. You can implement uh, this code uh, according to your requirement. I mean, if you work with Node.js or Python, Rasic, you can use use accordingly this code in your in your app. Behind this is the we can use uh, use the Gemini two point press model, but according to your requirement, you can change your model and give the proper prompt for regarding your coding assistant regarding your uh, if you are if you are owner of the I mean any commerce platform that you are providing any services if you need this type of any agent you you, uh, you can go with Vertex AI or uh, Studio of the uh, Studio. Here you can create a just in two or three minutes. You can create your own app. But if you create a prop, if you want to create a proper app, they for that you can create a proper prompt. Also, you you can take a help to the Gemini and the ChatGPT and get the proper prompt. Then apply on this chatbot. Okay. So this chatbot here you can 
so i think our code is generated but here got us some issues so click on issue this showing the jack does not recognize the view code something issue so first we generate our gemini api key so click on auto generate after create gemini uh, gemini api you can fix this this issue okay so basically they create uh, i think uh, good ui but uh, using the changes here so you can change your view you can change your ui uh, uh, user interface and you can change also in your logic correct so just we are uh, we are waiting just a minute for the internet. yeah now this is generated so now we click on the issue so you can see the what an issue you got properties from element you intensely want to appear and down as custom attribute display the work as before so you just you can if you don't understand the java javascript and this thing you just click on the fix error we fix check this issue and update the in your uh, they will also uh, also update in your code base okay yeah so Showing just the uh, commit things, the what type of changes he makes. So again, he is changing the file. Ah, uh, yeah. Again, as uh, we found one more issue. Again, changes this called related text and created one more commit, but still he got nothing. So, so that is the hydration file. Yeah. Click on the fix error. We get one more commit for this issue. So after this fix error, uh, it work properly. Now. Now this will generate your app and uh, you can ask anything I think I will click on my card decision to the hydro account we are just asking how you can help me This is proper responding. So still you want to change anything in in this app here. This is a different type of tab. According to tab, they are responding the your query. So this is nice. I mean, I think it will take a uh, mostly ten minutes. Or uh, they will create your app personalized app. After then, you can also publish uh, publish your app. In, uh, if you want to access the globally using the API, you can publish publish this app on the cloud, uh, on the Firebase cloud. After cloud, you get the in points, uh, live in points. Uh, this uh, point you can use in our different uh, different places. Also, you can use the you got the web link using web link you can access your app. So the for if you want to publish this app, so you need uh, some billing account. So we have a billing. Uh, you need to earn billing account and link your Google Cloud billing. Uh, when you start the first project, you got the twenty five thousand Indian rupees uh, for the your project in trial version. So you can utilize your uh, I mean twenty five thousand is too much. You can utilize in I think one one month approximately. You can test your things, test your app, lots of things. After then, uh, if, if you just your twenty five thousand, then uh, start your charges. So this is not a thing of worry. You can add your billing account and just use your trial account, uh, trial amount, and see the features of the Firebase Studio. Yes. Uh, also, one more point. If you 
want to keep the code in your github uh, private profile so just you need to the connect your github with, uh, with this visual studio code uh, after connect you can again you uh, you can publish your branch and commit commit things so i just want to suppose that i'm uh, this is my part test app next committing yes and this branch is public branch name okay Hello. you can also you can change your branch name so this is go to the your private in github they ask you just that code i have copied and paste here and now authorize the visual report yeah now set Can select your historian. Uh, you can update. Suppose you can change the historian to name like my part. Uh, yes. Okay, so now this is published. 